Okay, time for the boss fight. And what the? Oh my god! Um, okay. Good wintry day to you, space mates. It's me, in Phoenix Flare, and welcome to another episode of I Am Setna. In the last episode, we left off at a cliffhanger on a safe point up above, and now we traverse down this path to find out what lies below. And that looks pretty scary. Oh shit, that is big. Here we go. Hey, look at that coming out of its body. Isn't that... Uh, it's powerful magical energy. It's space spatial distortion. I see. So those distortions in space we've been seeing all around the mainland. You think this thing is what's causing them? Yikes. If it is, that means this guy definitely isn't just some small fry, doesn't it? This thing's kind of big, isn't it? I don't think kinda is the word, but why though? It's changed. It definitely has. Changed? You've seen it before? Well, yeah, a long time ago. Come on, that, that's enough chit chat. We need to finish this thing off before it finishes us off. Be careful, everyone. Well, here we go. I hope I survived this fight. Oh shit. Ouch. That is painful. So let's first off... Uh, let's heal up Endure. Because that took up almost all my health got now. Uh, let's see what we can do. We'll wait for momentum. Fast, fast. It's too fast. It's too fast. Alright, let's throw another potion at Endure again. Full disclosure, I fought him once. And it didn't go so well. As you can see from my sting at the beginning of this video. Alright, so now we got... Let's wait for... Oh god. Jesus. Alright, we still can hang on a bit. Come on, Julianne. Get your shit ready. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh crap, okay. No, I can wait. Alright, alright, we can do this. Frost wall. And Nidia can heal himself. I did not... Oh crap, I pressed wrongly. I made a mistake. I hope it doesn't cost me. He's too fast. Okay, I made a mistake. I didn't want to attack with Nidia. I wanted to do a tech. But apparently he didn't register my button press. So let me see what I can do. Okay. And let's use an item with Oh guess provokes run out by now. Frostwall's still in effect, I think. Let's see. Tenacity or the. Right, we'll just provoke again after momentum. Oh shit, I missed my button press, damn it. Oh, the wall is gone. Uh, let's frost wall again. No, let's wait for Endias. Alright, let's go. Frost wall. Alright. Why 
Why is he not taking any damage? I thought I have Avenger on India. Oh well. Let's see, we can use... Whirlwind Blade. No, let's save some MP. And just attack normally for now. This is crazy, he attacks once for every my character's turn. Uh, does he have weakness to ice? I don't know. I want to use Hagakure, but I keep using Provoke on Nidur. Jeez. Well, let's try waiting for... Did Provoke finish already? Alright, Nidhiers ATB should fill up quite fast. We should be able to hold on for a while until I can use Hyperion. Jesus. Oh, and the wall is down. I can't... I need to use Julian, alright. This is bad. I can't even get an attack off. Alright, Hagakure. Our evasion should be up now. I think Julian will go on healing duty. Oh my god, I'm still getting hit. Let's see, mid potion. And you. Probability change. Alright. Yeah, just miss. Miss, you son of a bitch. Oh god. Don't go for Julian. Uh, we can't go for Hyperion. Okay. Come on, come on. Get your ATB up. Miss, miss, yes, miss everything. Alright, we can use the fuse and we'll use a mid potion on everyone. Is that the best thing? Uh, actually, I will use an ether on everyone. Hopefully, that doesn't kill me. I will use ice cleave. Come on, did you get your turn? Oh my god! The evasion is really helping for now. Uh oh. Oh no, damn! Well, he's dead. So let's use an Athenian water on. And you. Just hit Nidio, will you? He's too fast! There has to be some way to make this fight easier. Oh god, don't die. Okay. Alright, mid potion on everyone. And then we can use... What is the best thing to use? Frost wall or ice cleave? Alright, we need to get something going on. This is bonkers, man. He's too fast. He's way too fast. I 
I can't even get a Hagakure off. Maybe I should have tried to go for a blow beat. Oh, come on, Julian, why do you miss? At least I'm dealing damage back with Avenger. Alright, Blade Wave. No, I can Hagakure. Should I go for it? Might be risky. Alright, oh, he's dead! Holy crap, man! That... I don't know if you can tell, but that was super tense. Because he attacks like a mother f an asshole. Sorry I had to swear there, but that was... This was the first tough boss fight I actually encountered. Because he, he just goes so many turns in a row. Legendary monster! Ha! It was no match for us! Yeah! Oh my god, it moved. Be careful! It's not over yet! And it's getting up! Uh, no round two, please. Round one was already tough enough. Whoa! That was impressive! Ha! 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 Well, what's wrong, Julian? Julian, don't tell me you're still. The last lands. The power that dwells there. I must see it with my own eyes. I must continue on. Um. Okay. Camera shift. And seems like the barrier's gone. Look! The distortions in space have disappeared! So that huge monster was what was causing them, after all! Let us hurry on. Are you sure you're alright, Julianne? Yes, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Never mind. As long as you're alright. Oh my god, that was pretty tough. If you enjoyed the video so far, hit that like button. And if you want to stay updated with this channel and the series, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. So let's do a save first before anything else goes wrong. Okay, here we go. Past the wall that was there just now. I feel like Kurt is getting a lot of lines. Because I seem to be making his high pitch, high pitch voice more than the other characters, especially Setsuna. Oh, did, did you just have that? Just to... Um, I, I don't know what the point of that was. Hey, Scrubs. You should be easy after. Oh god, I don't have enough MP. Well, it should be easy enough. After that horrible fight. Okay, I changed my party members for a bit. Just to get Endear some rest and Julian too. So, glowy item on the floor there. And we are on this skinny path. Why aren't we at the end of the dungeon yet? Alright, so yay. My instincts paid off and we received stop. But I already have stop. Don't I? Like, it's right here. Does it come with anything extra? Apparently it doesn't. So, I'll just clear this, guys. Hey, we're on continuing our journey. We reached the end of the... F what? We're still not at the end. We meet a different colored bear. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's a Sprint Night monster. A Sprint Night eating monster. Where is my... Boxstone, I'm running. Whew. Why did I put a Spring Night in the monster on the path to the exit? 
That almost... I luckily... I recognize the music. It escaped. I'm not gonna fight a tough monster without the ability to save. And I can save here. So that's great. But we'll continue on. Because I am very certain there is nothing that can take me out of my comfort zone here. Meaning that there wouldn't be some random cutscene suddenly happening. Hopefully. <laughs> that's what I think. Because up till now, there hasn't been like a cutscene happening on the world map. And there, uh, there are no random battles here. So I feel confident and safe. And what do we have here? Fridging Heights. Right, so I'll head on to the other side and see if there's anything over there. Like a town, maybe. Uh, what do you know? It's actually the pass that was blocked by the purple light wall thing. Yeah! So... I'll be going back to where Fridging Heights was. Okay, Fridging Heights, here we come. What are we gonna find here? Finally, we're here. What? What do you mean? From the summit, we'll have a clear view of the last lands. So here we are. Hmm. Eterna, you look a little pale. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. I see. Are you alright, Zetna? I don't know if I should even really be asking this, but aren't you scared? I'm fine. My mind's been made up ever since the moment we started this journey. And anyway, you're all here. I don't have anything to be afraid of. So thank you. Well, I can't wait for this to be over so we can kick back and relax. Has it really been that hard going? Heh. <laughs> Thank you, Endure. I remember everything you've said to me. I'll be counting on all of you for a little longer. Alright, here we go. We got more of these... Have we fought these snail monsters before? I think we have. Aero Arm Knight. Yes, nothing like a little easy fight to bring the tension down from the previous area. And the blizzard's getting pretty strong here. Alright, we have two paths. Nope, just one path. Because that was a pretty easy choice. Alright, for, for a moment I was pretty worried because it was an open area. But it's just three of these punks here. Okay, I, I changed my sprint knight around so that I can actually have a combo with Eterna and Nidir so I can clear these monsters a bit faster. So we had a choice. Oh god, the path is leading back there. So it was left and right. So let's go right. Let's try and... Okay. Spot on instincts as always. Me. Congratulating myself. So who is this for? This is for Nadir. When equipped it boosts the effects of items used. Oh, cool. Uh, we have a... Uh, Nadir and... Uh... And you're... They're becoming better healers than Setsuna herself. Let's use a prayer. While we wait for... Momentums of Eterna and Nidir to happen. So that we can use Phantasm Break. Alright. What? Only killed one? Jesus Christ. Oh god, what? No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Okay, uh, no. Right, I gotta make sure, because I want to do my fluxes properly. Oh yes, I changed my talismans, actually. I forgot to neglect. Uh, I neglected to say. I changed my talismans. Uh, instead, now, instead of having MP consumed, they now have... Uh, I'm going for critical hit rate instead, because... I read up a bit on flux bonuses and MP consumed. Every every MP consumed flux only gave a reduction of one. What the hell? One? That's not enough for anything. That's too little. And uh, yeah, not good good enough. So, so I decided to go for a critical hit rate instead. We should. Which should give me more massive damage whenever uh, my crit hit 
critical hits proc. Okay, there's a path across there. And we got, oh my god, we got four of these. That's scary. Let's use Phantasm Break. Thank you for grouping up all so nicely over there. Oh, oh damn it, I missed my window because I was talking so much. Yay, treasure chest. Cabin times two. Well, not too bad, I guess. Because it heals up all my HP and MP. But this episode is getting kind of long. Where is the next save point? <laughs> well, I might just cut off before I reach a save point even. I dislike how there's a kill that requires you to do exact kill. Oh, this is a drop to the area before. Because exact kills... If you're too... If you're too powerful, then... It's not gonna be an easy condition to fulfill. You need, you need like the talismans that show the HP of the monsters to be able to do it properly. So some materials, as in the kills, how do I put this? Some material, the material drop is governed by how you kill the monsters. So one of the kills being exact kill. Meaning, yeah, you need to damage the enemy just nicely enough near its HP. So that you can do an exact kill. I don't know if I'm making sense. Because I'm kind of rambling. But this system, because of this system, there is a material that is attached to exact kill for each monster. So far, I, I think the hardest material to farm would actually be one that requires exact kill and especially for those monsters that ran away the owl monsters you need to hit them just enough to get exact kill before they run which is not gonna be fun not gonna be fun all right rent over and I still haven't killed this guy yet god just die already will you Okay, more paths to choose? Right. Don't give me so many headaches, just give me one path to go. I don't want to think too much on how I should proceed. Cecil is getting low on MP, I need to heal up. Oh god, why are you guys grouped so tightly together? Hopefully I get... Yep. Luckily I got this. If not, it would be a pain. Alright, who should I target? I'll target the guy at the back. We we're going to a cave. This should be a drop to the area down below. Where there was a silver chest earlier on that I cannot open. And we're going to the next area. Okay, what's going on? Do we have story happening or is it still just more fights? More fights. Oh, it's the silly things! Oh. Okay, I think we can just take them on normally. Oh god, you're still not dead. Oh, I forgot about that. Huh, chain reaction. Oh, that's something new. How long more is this area? I might have to cut before I actually finish it. Ugh. I hate you, seals. I hate you, silver treasure chest that I cannot open and get the fruits of my reward. More seals. Oh, jeez. Alright, I think as sad as I have to say, I'm gonna cut the episode here. So if you want to find out what happens next, be sure to continue watching this series. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Infi. Blasting off. Yeah. You uh, you s <laughs> you stroked my head. Yeah, give me the nice little stroke. Let's see if he falls for that. <laughs> you dropped the axe real fast, didn't you, Edna? 
Surprise butt sex! How are you missing with 86% chance? Anyway, um, are you gonna. <laughs> How long are you gonna take to freaking blast him? <laughs>